Pathologic 2 is a groundbreaking open world horror RPG. Resist the plague, make medicine, heal people, perform an autopsy, trade to get what you need, fight and kill if necessary, survive a struggle with an outbreak in a secluded rural town that is rapidly turning into hell. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'm doing a review of Pathologic 2. I've been playing this game on the PlayStation 2 and the game key was given to me by the developers. So first of all I would like to thank them and you know I really am glad that I got this game to review because I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. I really had no idea the game was what the game was at all um, except that it was kind of a horror game so I really thank the developers would like to thank them for giving me the copy I really appreciate it so to play this game you don't really have to play the first one and for me that was a sign of a relief because it I would have put myself a lot you know if I would have to play the first game you know to be able to understand the second one in some cases or games this doesn't mean it's a bad thing but in some games it's a good thing if the story is that good then it's worth going back just to you know know what's going on if it's that complex so in this game you're a doctor and you, you're basically trying to kill people and um, you're trying to cure the plague the plague has infested the town and as you walk through the map you will see people struggling fighting the authorities being executed by them or even burned so uh, it really has a heavy element to it it isn't really a fun game it's very depressing unfair and absolutely dripping with angst throughout this game you will meet strange people and strange dressed people some people need your help and some people cannot be helped and that's the thing about this game you really can't save everyone you know and you will have to make big choices it is a very interesting way of storytelling and it's for certain a very unique experience I have never played a game like this before but to be honest at first the game felt like a drag I felt boring but the more I was playing the more I was interested in how the story will pan out I might it I think well I think this game might not be really for everybody but for those who are into this type kind of a thing into this kind of theme you know I think they might really enjoy it what what negative I can say also about this game is that um, you know there is no dialogue no voice acting in this game which is kind of strange for nowadays it, it's kind of different experience because you know usually you expect voice actors but I don't expect that this is a triple-a title anyway but you know it was kind of strange you know they would say when you approach them and talk to them they would say something but you know what they are saying on the screen it, it's totally different uh, but you know never, never mind that bugs and glitches I really haven't experienced any and um, you know game the pace of the game is kind of slow it doesn't make you rush and in some moments like like for example when I was trying to help a girl who was in the need of water she was dying out of thirst uh, I had to figure out where I can find a bottle and I can get the water you know to help her out but you know I couldn't because it was too late because by the time I got to her she already died and that's the thing as I said already you can't really save anyone and I think that kind of an element of the game makes it kind of special well, well it's kind of 
it's different than as I said anything that I have ever played so it's kind of mixed feeling but I think you know for people who are in into this kind of you know games then I think this game might be worth getting you know but let me say that for 30 euros this game might be worth getting it doesn't have the best graphics well I have to say that this game reminded me of Amnesia which came nine years before this game the combat and the fist fighting scenes you know moments uh, aren't great but those aren't the elements of the game that are pulling its weight it's the atmosphere, it's the horror, the starvation and hunger that you see on the streets and the need to help other people. It's also very depressing and very haunting. It's something new, definitely. And it isn't something that everyone might like. But for me, it's very interesting to play, uh, to, you know, to experience. And for the price, I think it's something worth considering on getting this game you know I will leave definitely a link in the description and if you want to check it out please do it would help me a lot and um, I will see you in the next video until then